Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to get outside ESD. So the first step is you want to make your way towards Club 47, as I am doing right now. And you want to head towards this window, which is one of the many ports of entry to the outside, or in this case, exit. And uh, I failed to mention in my previous um, video, but you can also see these ships from here. So, yes. Go as far as you can, and then go to a map where, once you return, you will be placed in the same area, theoretically. So, I'm going to go to my bridge. And just like my previous how to get your ship inside ESD, I'm not going to cut out this loading screen, just for authenticity. And once we're um, outside, there are some areas where you want to avoid, so I'm going to talk to you through those areas as well. And you do want to bring an EV suit, because otherwise you would suffocate. <laughs> Alright, so first step is you will get stuck in the glass, so just jump, and then now you're outside. Now, as you can see, I'm not suffocating yet. There's probably some residual gravity here, or whatever, that's uh, <laughs> keeping the oxygen in. But, once you do step here... So, <laughs> yes, bring an EV, EV suit. So, that's Club 47. There's nothing in that direction, so no point going over there. You can run up here. And there's a ledge, but don't step on the ledge. I mean, you can, but somewhere in there you will get stuck, so you can step on it. But I think somewhere in the middle you will get stuck. So, let's keep going. You see some parts from the pillars on the inside, which, of course, they didn't bother um, cleaning up from the outside. From here, you can see the mezzanine, and of course, the, the ship requisition area and all that. Going up further would, would be pointless unless you want to, because that ledge up there will block your, um, your path. So let's go back down here, and avoid the windows, because those will make, uh, will, um, you will get stuck on those. And of course, here is um, behind Admiral Quinn's office. And you want to avoid this area, and the area immedi immediately below it, as well as that side. So, in order to get there, you want to run, and there you go. Because if you walk or jog your way here, you will get stuck on these areas. And, as you can see on these windows, you get this weird effect when you're walking. So, avoid the windows, and now you can peer in, if you want to. And now you can see there's a return to ESD interior, so the devs have been working on not allowing you to get out here, but yeah. And the disadvantage of being here is that once you are here, you can't get out, so well, if you try, you will get stuck. So, let me just pause the video and make my way over there. Alright, so I made my way back out again, and um, I forgot to mention that sometimes um, exit exiting from here using the jump to a bridge or whatever other area does not work every single time, so you will have to play with it. I actually got, uh, it actually failed me twice trying to get back here earlier, and um, there are other ways to exit, but that one's probably the easiest one. So here we see more protrusions from the pillars. These three things. And uh, further to this side, there's the three um, shuttle bays we can see from this area. And the third one's the most exciting, so we'll make our way there, but I'll show you every one of these. And of course, of course, um, you're not actually supposed to be here, so it's not fully textured, as you can see there. So let's make our way to the second one, just have a quick look, and then we're going to move on to the third one. And of course you can see all these ships flying around on the outside. Alright, let's go to the third one. Okay, so it is possible to get onto the uh, launch pad, but you will want to um, jump or in this case, just walk across from this area. Not that, because if you jump from here and land, you will die and then be sent back to ESD, so. There we go. 
And um, you do not want to head towards this direction, because if you reach the shield, actually, if you get past about he around here, you will get ba beamed back in. But otherwise, it's pretty cool. And I suppose to end this video, I'm going to show you what's so great about the third launch pad. Now, you can jump off here and see some pretty neat sights. But if you jump off from the second or first shuttle pad, you will hit the bottom of VSD and just beam back in. So, check that out. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and ring the notification bell to be notified of future videos. Helps out the channel quite a lot. It's free, so why not? Also, you can support me through Patreon if you want to. Link in the description. Where you can also find the link to my Discord, where you can join and speak to myself and fans directly. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye!